Hey there devs, welcome back to another two minute tools and tip Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at how you can make dealing with breakpoints a little bit easier. Now if you're like me and you start to get deep into debugging some code, you end up with breakpoints all over the place and it's hard to remember where they are, to go and remove them later, what are enabled by default. I want to show you today how you can go in and quickly see where all your breakpoints are so that you can manage them after the fact, turn them on, turn them off, and generally just not get stuck with many, many lost breakpoints scattered throughout your code. So we're going to start off and we're going to add a couple of breakpoints to this simple main activity implementation. So now imagine you're working in a larger code base and after a while, these breakpoints start to add up and are scattered throughout your code. So if we go to the top and click run and then go down to the bottom and click view breakpoints, this breakpoints window opens up. From here, under the section titled Java Line Breakpoints, we see a list of the breakpoints present within our project. From here, we can select a breakpoint, see where it is in our code base, and then configure that breakpoint. We can choose to enable or disable it, choose whether it suspends the current thread or all threads, as well as updating other things like the conditions in which that breakpoint is hit. If we close this window, we'll look at another way to open up the breakpoints window. If we use the action lookup command, type view breakpoints, select view breakpoints, and then hit enter, we'll see the window opens up again. All right, that's it. Hopefully you have a better idea now how you can manage all of those breakpoints. Hopefully that leads to happier debugging. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, everybody.